What's up YouTube, Jay here with Tap and Turn Gaming, and today I'm coming at you with another Legendary Creature review. Uh, keeping in trend with the Cons of Tarkir set, uh, we're going to take a look here at another one of the Cons from Cons of Tarkir, and today we're going to take a look at Sidisi Brood Tyrant. Um... She's a 4 cost, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, she's of the Saltai clan, uh, black, green, blue. She's a legendary Naga Shaman uh, with a pretty interesting ability. Um, whenever Sidisi Brood Tyrant enters the battlefield or attacks, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Uh, also, whenever one or more creature cards are put into your graveyard from your library, Put a 2-2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. So, uh, pretty interesting ability. Um, I definitely am personally interested in building a deck around this card um, for an EDH deck. Um, I think it would be pretty interesting to build around. Um, I mean, my personal take on the card for basically for what it does um, you'd probably well at least I would make it like a reanimator style uh, deck maybe with like a little zombie sub theme seeing as uh, she makes two two black zombies whenever you dump a creature card in your yard from your library <laughs> but um yeah I, mean, I, I think she's pretty cool um, I know this uh, this cards going for about eight dollars right now by itself um, <clears throat> So I would imagine there's probably some decks maybe in standard that use her uh, just to abuse some of the delve uh, delve cards that came out in cons. Uh, but from a commander standpoint, I think she's very interesting. Uh, I do want to build the deck around her myself, but um, you know I would I would personally make it a reanimator style deck. Uh, you know, being able to dump cards in your graveyard is pretty much what you want to do in that style of deck and uh, this is probably one of the more powerful color combinations um, you know, three color combinations anyway uh, in commander black green blue I mean you got black for you know reanimation um, and kill you've got green for ramp um, and massive massive creatures uh, and you've got blue for trickery so I mean you've got some really solid colors um you know she falls in the same you know suit as um the mimeoplasm and uh damia sage of stone um and that particular commander precon came with some you know some pretty solid cards to aid you in that um you know strategy of dumping stuff in your own graveyard to get it back later on um, so I, I think she's really interesting. Um, I think she could be pretty powerful as a commander uh, if you built the deck right. Um, you know, like I said, I would make it a reanimator style theme, um, and I'm interested in doing that and kind of adding in maybe a little zombie sub theme to the deck, seeing as she makes two two zombies herself. Um, but yeah, I mean that's my overall take on her. Um, I mean, I definitely think she's a build around me card. Uh, I, you know, probably wouldn't put her in the 99 of a deck. Um, I mean, that's just my personal opinion on her. I just feel like this card screams build around me. Um, I mean, the only real drawback to it, I guess, um, is that the the bottom portion here. Um, when I first read this, I read it wrong. Um, I read it as whenever a creature card is put in your graveyard from your library, you get a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Um, but you don't get a token for every creature, it's just whenever cards are put into your graveyard, you know, if you have some sort of, you know, let's say you, oh, I don't know, you glimpse the unthinkable yourself, and you mill your top ten, well... You know, just for the sake of this discussion, let's say you mill five creatures uh, from those ten cards. You only get one zombie token, because it says whenever one or more creature cards are put in your graveyard from your library. 
So, you know, if you... Uh, if she enters the battlefield, you mill the top three. And if all three of those cards are creatures, well, you only get one black zombie creature token. I mean, I think, you know... I personally think it would have been a lot cooler if you got a zombie token for every creature that hit the yard, but nonetheless, um, I mean, that's the only real kind of downside to her, I suppose, but I think she screams, build around me, build a deck around me, please, um, and I am very interested in doing so. But yeah, uh, that's my overall take on Sidisi Brood Tyrant. Um, you know, tell me what you guys think. Uh, you know, do you think she's an interesting card? Would you build around her? Uh, would you make an EDH deck, um, you know, for her? Or would you put her into an existing EDH deck? You know, let me know what you think. Um, you know, like I said, I think she's a very interesting creature, and I feel like she just screams, build around me. But yeah, uh, this has been Jay with Tap and Turn Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed this little legendary creature review video. Uh, also, visit our um, local gaming store's website, The Battlegrounds, uh, at www.battlegroundgames.com. Um, me and Derek love their store. They're really great. The store owner is awesome. Um, just a really great store. And, uh, you know, they're kind of our uh not really our sponsor but you know we've partnered up with them and uh you know we gain awareness for them and they gain awareness for us um for our youtube channel but yeah anyways again it's been jay with tap and turn gaming hope you guys like the video again like comment subscribe all that stuff and we'll catch you later